Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Order your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. Yannick Sinner ticked a new milestone on Sunday, becoming the first Italian man to win the Miami title and also to win multiple Masters 1000 titles. As a reward, the 22-year-old rises to number two in the ATP rankings for the very first time. It is also an all-time high for an Italian man, and it makes us wonder how long before Yannick Sinner gets to number one. Yannick has a 22-1 record this season and is the first ATP player to claim three titles in 2024. It's pretty impressive. And his coach, Darren Cahill, says he's got a lot of room to grow. Cahill says Yannick is going to get older and he's going to get stronger, faster and smarter, and all those things will improve his game. Cahill says that Sinner can be better on the serve, at the net, using the slice backhand, and with his return of service. That's a pretty big list of improvements to make for a player who is already clearly a cut above the rest of the tour. Sinner is currently 1,015 points behind Novak Djokovic in the rankings. But if we look at the race to Turin standings, Sinner is leading Djokovic by nearly 3,000 points because he doesn't really have too many rankings points to defend. Sinner may have a shot to be number one by the end of the clay season. After Monte Carlo, where Sinner was runner-up last year, he's only defending 215 points. Meanwhile, Djokovic has 2,180 points to defend across Rome and Roland Garros, and he'll have another 4,200 points to defend from Wimbledon through the U.S. Open. In that same span, Sinner has 2,045 points to defend. If Sinner can keep up this level of play, he may just have a shot to do the unthinkable at some point this spring or summer. Of course, it isn't just Djokovic that Sinner has to contend with. There's also Carlos Alcaraz, who came to life at Indian Wells and is only 65 points behind Sinner in this week's rankings. And then, of course, you've got to factor in Daniil Medvedev. It may take a while, but at the moment, given the incredible form he's displayed this season and his remarkable run against the ATP's elite, Sinner seems a lock to get to number one at some point in the next year. He has feasted on the best players in tennis, winning 10 of his last 12 against the top five, a streak which includes two of three versus Djokovic and five in a row against Medvedev. Sinner isn't exactly confident about what's going to happen on the clay this year, so we'll just have to wait and see about that. If you're scoring at home, Sinner is 14 and 12 against the top five on hard courts and just one and seven against the top five on clay. But he has not faced a top five player on clay since he beat Carlos Alcaraz in the UMAG final in 2022. Will this be the year that Sinner finally learns to dominate on the clay? We can't wait to find out. So how do you see it playing out? Can Sinner get to number one this year, or do you think it's going to take a little longer? As always, we love to hear your thoughts, so sound off in the comment section, and we'll see you next time.